Hello, uh, Smooth speaking here. Uh, this is just going to be a relatively short progress video regarding my work on the Wii U. Uh, it's been just about a month since I started working on the Wii U, and I think I've been making some very good progress uh, working along with uh, Pluto, Yellowzay, Networked, uh, Derek, all these good people. And uh, yeah, I figured uh, I've been you know, I've been working on this long enough that I can probably, should probably show what I've been up to, so yeah. Uh, first off, what you can see is, uh, this is uh, the hard mod that was set up on my Wii U to unbrick it uh, last week. Uh, it's actually completely unrelated to what I'm going to show you next, but it's right there. Uh, that's how I unbricked my console. Uh, and the reason I bricked my console was because we have this, uh, this great new exploit that lets us... Uh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. It'll be easier that way. So what you can see is um, console is off right now. So I'm just going to turn it on. And uh, don't blink because you might miss it. All right. So it's turning on the gamepad, which should have full volume. Yes. All right. Wii U logo. Oh, black screen. What happened? So yeah, from here, uh, we've actually got code execu executing on the console. Uh, it takes it takes like 20 seconds or so to, to load stuff. It's kind of slow right now because it's loading a bunch of stuff, uh, but we can probably make it faster. At this point, um, we can see it's still black screen on both of those and the red screen. And if we can focus on this, welcome to Renand. Woo. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's still loading. Uh, there's nothing on the on the TV because uh, I do most of my debugging on the gamepad. But yeah, uh, it just loaded the operating system off of my SD card instead of the actual non-chips. So this is pretty great. Uh, this is just a directory to show me that I'm on uh, redirected non and not physical non because you never know. Sometimes you make stupid mistakes. You end up breaking a console. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, so this is great. Uh, I, th this is great for development for one thing. I've actually got a, uh, a server running in the background at this point uh, that lets me peek and poke stuff from my computer. But also what you can see is because we're in a custom firmware, we can have stuff like this little thing right here. Which, let's see. Ooh, this is our logo, by the way. And, uh, yeah, it's just loading stuff, and what you can see is this text right here, and if you press buttons, uh, yeah. But more interestingly, uh, we've got the gamepad, which is actually running uh, Yeti 3, uh, which you might remember from my 3DS port of it. I didn't actually write this engine at all. Uh, this was uh, by some other dude. I just ported it to the 3DS and uh, the Wii U. Well, yeah, now the Wii U, like, three minutes ago. But yeah, it's, it runs great. Uh, the point is, we, we can run Homebrew in, the, in a very clean environment this way from Red Nand. So uh, I think this is this might be a way to go. I'm not sure at this point. Uh, the point is, all of this works. Uh, all of this can be done without. Well, yeah, it, it took some work, but it works pretty great. Uh, there are currently no um, like actual release plans. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. Uh, just wanted to to show people because um, I've been working really hard on this and uh, I'm, I'm really happy with the result. I'm not ex entirely sure what my next step on the Wii U scene is going to be, but um, yeah, this exists. This is doable. Uh, I hope I'll be able to help with the homebrew scene. Uh, I'll hope I'll, I'll be able to release stuff. But again, uh, I'm not promising anything at this point. It's just what I'm working on. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much the same thing as my early 3DS work. It did eventually result in, a, in homebrew stuff, but you know, it took a while because this is hard work. Uh, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I hope you agree. And um, I hope I'll be able to uh, show more stuff in the future and release more stuff in the future. Yep. All right. That's pretty much it. Goodbye.